what's up my friends? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 210 today. Hope you're all doing alright. Um, this series is going by like absolutely so, so fast. It's uh, unreal to me. But anyway, welcome to Friday's episode. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever it is for you guys. Uh, hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, hit me with a little thumbs up. That would mean the world to me and subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Cheers. Uh, you know what we're looking at. We've got a pretty lovely squad, aren't we? Still in the middle of evoing our Michael Essien. Um... But the thing to grab today would be my Division 5 Reward Upgrade Rivals Rewards. So there's 12 packs there, which is just phenomenal. I think it's actually better than the Weekend League now, playing 7 games of Rivals in Div 5, which is less stressful as well, big time. And we get an 84 or an 85 times 5 as well uh, for reaching another level in the Seasonal Objectives. So uh, how's about a load of packs? Uh, so I will show you... I'll show you all of the packs from, from Rivals Rewards, despite obviously the fact that some of these are just going to be like super, super average. Uh, just simply because I got 12 packs, I might as well show you the 12 packs. And, uh, you know, maybe if you're in Division 6 or something and you're stalling yourself from going up, maybe this can t either tempt you to go up to the next division or be like, you know what, I'm all good. I'm going to stay put exactly where I am. Um... So, obviously, alongside any duplicates, we get the 84 times 7s done. I uh, don't think there's any gameplay in today's episode. I think it's very, very much pack-based. And any gameplay that I was doing for this one was squad battles uh, in the background. So, you'll see the, the spoils of that, but you won't see the actual gameplay. Because, I mean, even in, like, September, October, you don't really want to be seeing squad battles gameplay. Let alone April or August, or whatever it is right now, um, in terms of the cycle. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I just had a... Well, I've, I've got plenty of it left. But, yeah, I've got, I've got like, a smoothie. Um, and it's got chia seeds in it which are apparently very good. Um, but, yeah, they're... they're uh, I'll probably just be coughing them up all day, so sorry about that. Um, they are tiny little little annoying things, which <laughs> just, like I said, are annoying. But anyway, back onto the actual topic, rather than what I'm eating and drinking today. Um, we're on to the Jumbo Premium Gold Players Packs now. These are, I believe, technically worth about 50k a pack. Um... But they are, you know, like the 25k packs where it's just a premium gold players pack? It's double one of those, so technically 50k, right? Um, but yeah, as you can see, not too much amazing stuff in there. We end up getting quite a lot of duplicates here, there, and everywhere. Uh, I turn some of those dupes into a little player pick uh, and grab an 83 card off of them. Um, so that's what I've done. Uh, I ended up putting Upa Meccano into an SBC. I'm pretty sure because he was... Maybe I made a mistake there. I think that he could have still gone into an Evo. Was he the Evo that could have gone... Oh, no, he was the one that could have gone up to a striker. <clears throat> and that's the one I did Goretzka on instead of him or Militao. So, yeah, I couldn't have put him into an Evo. So he was a little bit... Uh, he was fodder to me at that point. Um, so that was all good. Another Jumbo Premium Gold Players pack. We do get ourselves a little 84 Chua Mini. Um, turn those non-rares into a player pick we get an 86 Jurelli so I basically assume I, I assign that 86 walkout to the jumbo premium gold players pack and be like okay rivals rewards got me another walkout then uh final 84 times seven completed with the fodder uh, and now it's time to get onto the numbered packs the ones with a minimum rating and a minimum amount or maximum amount whatever you want to call it um first pack we get Tiago Silva there's going to be an Evo at some point, right, that gives him, like, plus 30 pace and turns him into a bit of a beast because he's got he's got the Anticipate Plus. Oh, at some point, there's going to be, a, like, a crazy Thiago Silva that comes out. I'm sure of it. There always is, right? I know he had... Did he have a flashback? Was that this year, last year? Can't remember. Like I said, don't even know what day or month we're in at the moment. So, uh... <laughs> I can't remember if we've already had the Thiago Silva this year. I'm pretty sure it was this year. A flashback earlier on at the start of the game. Um, 
Team of the Week player picks will come sporadically just as I open up numbered packs, get a bunch... Uh, I've, I've got basically every four, 84 play, rated player in the game, I think, at the moment. So uh, if I'm getting any 84s in packs, typically they're duplicates. Double walkout here, though. Parejo and a Team of the Week. Of course, we're on the final Team of the Week of uh, FC24, apparently, they said. Uh, and all of the cards are a minimum of 87. Crazy. I do wonder why... That maybe maybe something coming with team of the season or, or whatever um, could be a reason why we're we're now done with team of the week because there's still weeks left of the seasons for for all of the leagues right so uh, yeah you would I would have expected uh, it to carry on a little bit longer maybe it will maybe it was a wording error we'll see we'll see maybe maybe they've got something up their sleeve so uh, we'll wait and see about that but I've completed the 88 rated squad for another icon. Uh, encore player pick thingy 88 plus because to me at the moment a lot of the players that are out as SBCs aren't necessarily worth it they all look quite good but they don't look as good as what I've got and I'd rather put the fodder into a, a you know like a roulette uh, player pick SBC than anything else at the moment um, there are a couple of players that I will work my way towards actually but you know it, it's either they're they're a little bit worse than what I've got and they don't cost enough or they're like Ronaldinho and a little bit too expensive you know so I'll leave them be um, but as you can see we're getting towards like the good good packs now we're getting uh, double walkout after double walkout the daily Luka Modric welcome to the club my friend uh, who's going to be behind him then it's another gold we know it's a Rodri, isn't it? Yeah, it's an 89. Lovely stuff. 87 and 89. Uh, in an 84 times 5, I think that was. Or an 80... Maybe that was an 80... Yeah, who knows. Um, this one. American. Cam. Ravel. La Lavelle. What is it? Lavelle. I always think of my mate Leah Ravel when I see that name. Um, but yeah, it's Lavelle. And Sauerbrunn and all that sort of stuff. 84 times 7. Number... Two or three. Uh, looking like a team of the week. And a Bruno Fernandez. So, uh, 88 Bruno. Double walkout. With another one of our fine 87s. One of the low-end team of the week players. There's loads of team of the weeks with little stars above their number uh, this week. Oh, and a Robbie Keane at the end of the pack. We will take that. So, that was uh, that was all sorts of walkouts there. That was like four or five walkouts, I believe. Um, yeah, four walkouts, I think. Lovely stuff. So Robbie Keane and those extra 84s can go into the, an 87 rated squad for the Icon player pick. Just one squad left to go now. We will get that done in today's video. Nice and simple. All basically come from Rivals Rewards and my daily SBC, which is lovely. Uh, and then the final 84 times 7. It is a Bernardo Silva, but it's just the one walkout. Uh, surrounded by a sea of 84 rated cards. Um, however, those dupes and the Bernardo can go into the final part of the Icon SBC. And, uh, well, we're onto it already. What are we going to get from it? 88 plus Encore Icon player pick. Come on, Mia Ham. Come on, Ronaldo. What's that meme on, on TikTok where it's like, ugh. Brother, ugh. That's <laughs> just disgusting. Uh, yeah, Perez, Campbell, Owen. I've got a better Campbell. Uh, there is a better Perez. There's probably a better Owen as well, right? I don't know. Uh, but either way, terrible, terrible waste of fodder. Um, it is what it is. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. Uh it could have been Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Mia Ham, any of those. So it wasn't this time around. Now here's my five daily um 83 plus player picks. These typically aren't worth it, but you know, we started off with a uh, a walkout. Um we then get another walkout there, so I guess it's sort of alright. We put you put a lot of golds in compared to what you do for an 80 plus player pick, and this is only an 82. Three plus, you know. So you you want to get some high rated cards. Um, so I would say 83, 84, 85, 86, 87 in that batch. A little bit of everything, but nothing too amazing. Uh, I probably would have rather done this, which is a bunch of 80 plus player picks. But we have to see how these turn out because you never know. They could be absolutely trash as well. Um, so far, not looking so good. 82, 83, 
82, 87, 83, and then back the way we came, 88, Renard. Okay, lovely. So that was worth it, right? That was, this is better than five of the daily 83 pluses based off of the luck that we've got in this little batch, I would say. Um, and the final one is an 84, Luis Diaz. All right, cool. So two walkouts in that one. I, I am pretty happy with that, um, considering they are the super cheap 80 plus ones. Another day, another Golazo daily play done. Played against myself on PS5, I think, to get that one done. 84 times 5 is the spoils of our efforts there. Uh, we can get another inform here. We're going to have a big old slug of water from this bottle. Just to aid and help, and, you know, a couple more of them chia seeds pop down. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We get Serge Regulon, uh, Inform 87, who I actually didn't know was on loan at Brentford, to be fair. That's how much ball knowledge I've got. Uh, <clears throat> and then, I mean, this is just an 81 double, so that's there's not going to be much there. Uh, 83, Borja Iglesias, another 81 double. Uh, looks like a team of the week again, though. Spanish centre-back from Al Nasser. That is going to be uh, an 80 pace, 88 rated Laporte. So they've given him a big old pace boost for that inform card uh, off of his regular 85 overall. So that's quite nice. 83 double. Uh, it's looking gold to me. Dutch left wing Matson. Matson? Marsden? Marsden? What is it? Not Matson. He's the left back. Martins. I get that wrong every time as well. And an 84 times 5 then for this little batch. And it is going to be. Go on. Be Ruben Diaz. Yes. Lovely stuff. Just a single walkout though. But the big old Portuguese is a prime bit of fodder. 89 overall with four 84s in a seat around him. Um, <clears throat> so, despite, you know, wasting all of our fodder on an icon player pick today, we've actually started building it back up again already, you know, with player picks here, different types of player picks there, getting a random Ruben Diaz. So it's just so, so, so simple to get all of that stuff on this game at the moment. That um, That is why every time you go into a game, you're facing off against an absolute mega, 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 megatron of a squad. It's, it's crazy. Um, but a few more squad battles games later, I turn my green SEN back into an icon SEN with plus three stats in, uh, in certain areas uh, of his card and a plus one overall rating. And then we could get an 84 times 10 towards the end of this episode here. And I played another like seven or eight games of squad battles uh, to get Colo Moani completed. Lovely stuff. We're going to see how he is in tomorrow's episode when I eventually qualify for my weekend league. Um, <clears throat> French striker, PSG, Mbappe. Could be Mb Oh, It's not. We, know, we, we knew it wasn't. That's how I would react if I saw a French striker PSG. Uh, 95 pace, 91 dribble, and 89 shooting. The two play styles he's got are, I believe, aerial plus and power shot plus. Don't know why it's not showing on the card right now. But we'll get on, get on in. And uh, yes, aerial plus and power shot plus. He's four star, five star. Everyone can go ahead and get this card. Um, well, as, as long as... You unlock the players from seasonal objectives, the Insigne, the McKenny, the Bellerin, and you don't put them into an SBC beforehand, because if you do that, you can't get Colo Moani. Uh, we will give him a go, though. I'll use him as a main striker. I'll drop Timo Werner uh, for tomorrow's episode, just to see, just to try something new. Um, I thought I was going to get myself a Gary Lineker there, but in an 84 times 10, we are going to round off this episode with a, a Rachel Daly and a Kira Walsh. Two 85s, eight 84s, yuck. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh, what a load of rubbish. I uh, didn't like that at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, the squad has changed marginally in the way that we've now got a better SEN. Uh, we could switch the striker. We'll take out Timo Werner just because, uh, you know, I've used him at an awful lot lately. And we'll try our foot champs qualies with this team right here. Uh, at least, yeah, most of this team right here. Maybe there'll be one or two changes. Who knows? Uh, but Kolo and Moani and uh, Drogba will be the strike force for my uh, champs qualies tomorrow. Friends, if you've enjoyed, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe as well to my channel if you are new. Cheers. And uh, follow me on social media. The links are down below. 
Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy, stay safe and healthy, and I very much look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Peace.